Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are going to do the unboxing and a review of this Bosch uh, Aquatac uh, 125 high pressure washer. I've had this unit since uh, 2018 so technically this is going to be a mock unboxing because I've used this unit uh, several times before. Uh, but I'm going to run you down through all the major features and what all this uh, washer has to offer. So let's get started. Of course, uh, you get this uh, documentation which includes a user manual, the warranty card and uh, the service center directory. Uh, please read through this uh, manual, it's also available in a PDF format. So this is the unit, it is very compact, the plastic build quality is pretty good and you have various slots for securing a lot of uh, uh, items, for instance the lance is secured to the bottom here, you have a slot here where you could uh, store the lance properly once it is done with the washing. You have this extension pipe which is uh, stored here, yeah, there is a proper slot for it and this slot is exactly where this uh, detergent uh, can get stored like this. So you have proper storage for everything and it is nice and compact. You get a 5 meter power cable. Now there are few important features of this unit. Uh, one is uh, it has an output pressure of 125 bar which is how it uh, implies from the model here. Aquatac uh, 125. This basically implies that it has a 125 bar uh, output pressure and the power draw is about uh, 1500 watts and water consumption is approximately 360 liters per hour. The nozzle has three different modes of uh, output and you can use it uh, depending on the intensity of the pressure that you need for cleaning. It has uh, quick coupling based uh, mechanisms for uh, connecting and disconnecting the hoses. So you can use the unit you are going to have to invest in a water inlet hose which is available in hardware stores. I'm going to show you how you are going to connect it. It's going to be a half inch uh, water inlet hose. Another advantage of this unit is it has a self priming pump built into this uh, washer which means it can draw water from a bucket and not just a tap. So in case you do not have an access to a tap for uh, inlet water you can also have a bucket with water and it will take in suction from the bucket. I'm going to show you some of the must have accessories that will make your life a whole lot simpler with this uh, pressure washer. One is you need to have an extension uh, hose. The 6 meter extension hose is available as a Bosch accessory. You should get one because this will extend your pressure uh, water outlet from the unit so and it has a quick coupling mechanism and this is going to be immensely helpful for extending the outlet pipe of your unit so this is one number two you should have this uh, advanced uh, foam lance which is a lot better than what Bosch uh, supplies with this unit this I got it from AliExpress back then I'm pretty sure you'll get a lot of units locally these days so you can invest in one such unit. This is completely made of brass and as a result it is very expensive. I got it for I think slightly less than uh, 3000 rupees back then in 2018. Comes with a very nice uh, pipe with a filter at the bottom here. And the build quality is good. You are going to have to assemble it using uh, you know the plumbing uh, nylon tape etc like you see here. And there are depending on how you adjust it you can see this. Uh, adjusting itself. The foam intensity varies as you control this. I'm going to show it to you when we do the review. You can invest in a very good uh, you know a snow foam uh, concentrate. This is from Wavex, a local Indian brand. Very good. I've used it a uh, lot of times. Even without the pressure washing I've used it uh, in a bucket wash method and it was uh, giving good results. Basically any liquid car shampoo is going to work and it will foam to a certain extent but those which dedicatedly mention as foam blasters and you know foam concentrates it's going to work a lot more. I'm going to show you how. You should also invest in a good uh, you know wash mitt like this. This is like a wash glove. This is the cheaper one, this is the slightly more expensive one. You wear it in your hand and uh, once you are done blasting the foam on your car, you can use this for uh, you know, uh, wiping it down, washing it. So this is also a good uh, uh, accessory you should invest in. Sometimes you may not have uh, you know, uh, power uh, sockets available to connect the unit. So you can invest in a good uh, power extension box like this. This was uh, custom fabricated. I got it from a local electrical vendor. 
and this particular unit uses a 16 ampere plug which should not go into uh, you know the normal socket so please be warned that if you intend to use this unit you're going to have to need a 16 ampere socket somewhere uh, around the vicinity the one you usually connect uh, heavy duty appliances like your uh, microwave oven your electric geyser your washing machine etc Guys, we are in my car Porsche right now and uh, the car is right here, our uh, trusty Hyundai Santro. It's not as soiled as uh, it demands a foam wash, but regardless, you can see the tires and the wheel wells, etc. which is like, you know, having a lot of dirt. She has seen a bit of uh, drives through dirty, muddy roads through bad weather. So let's see how this uh, goes. I've set up the machine here. And uh, as far as electrical connection goes, I've connected it to an extension cord right here. This is the fresh water supply. Now, I want to give you some advice regarding what type of connections you should be giving into your machine. And now, our homes have various taps. You may have a threaded uh, outlet like this. Like this. So, the best and the easiest way to go about doing it is have a hose which is having an adapter like this and connect it to your uh, tap this way if you do not want to you know uh, take uh, water suction from a bucket so this is the you get this sort of uh, adapter here and this would never uh, come off even if you know you try uh, forcing a lot of water through it so this is a quick lock uh, coupling and this is connected here and this is the other end of the inlet which we have to connect to this uh, inlet here. This is a quick lock uh, coupling, just pull it and it will come off. Now to connect this, what you need to do is, this has a thread on the other side. Take it off, route the hose through this. You can see this, uh, you know, different uh, tabs here. Your hose has to basically go through this. That's it. Once you have inserted the hose uh, this way, thread the other end. Once you have threaded, it's a firm connection. It will never come off. Connect it to the quick coupling unit you'll hear a distinctive click which means it is secured the unit should be in off condition before you you know uh, turn on the water supply so the pump doesn't run dry to the other end connect the water output pipe which is a again a quick lock uh, coupling you'll hear a distinctive click this is connected Ensure that there are no kinks on this output pipe because that's going to completely ruin your pipe and this is an expensive one. Ensure there are no kinks on the bends. It should be a 
in a very uh, subtle bend and before you try using unwind all the bends and make it a straight uh, pipe like this now connect the extension as well it's a quick lock coupling again now to assemble these uh, this nozzle with uh, the extension of the lens just click it on this side you will have a slot here you can notice a slot and this extension it has to go through that way that's it removing is push and take it out of the slot like this so it's pretty simple that way so the lance is also connected connect this outlet towards this side here it's again a you know quick lock uh, coupling to take it off push this tab and pull the pipe out so this is also connected our idea is to first uh, you know uh, do a complete wash of the car once before we uh, you know uh, spray the foam turn on the tab so it's now uh, connected here no leaks ensure that there are no leaks on this uh, pipes anywhere we now fill up uh, this detergent container with the uh, foaming concentrate so this is about 300 ml of uh, water and uh, poured about uh, 20 25 ml of uh, the foaming liquid concentrate uh, let's see how well this uh, bore supplied uh, foaming uh, lance works guys as a good practice you must always wash your car under a shade and not in direct sunlight we have it parked right here on the porch and you must also not uh, wear any uh, jewelry in your hand while uh, wiping the car down so it's best to remove any rings bracelets uh, bangles etc which you may have worn and keep it safe so we are ready we will start uh, wiping down the car guys it's always a good idea to use this unit in brakes and not use it continuously because the pump inside gets heated up and it generates a lot of noise so if you're using it in an independent apartment or a house it can create a ruckus for your neighbors so ensure that you do it in short brakes we have like uh, pre wetted the car the next thing we are going to do is connect the, the detergent container and uh, try using the foam so here's how you insert it just press it that's all so we have the water plus foam concentrate inside this container we'll see how well it forms now the sad part is Although you could see it is foam quite okay the entire thing has been consumed right here so you know the thickness of the foam is in good you can see that it is now completely dripped from the car i'm going to show you how different the mjjc foam lances and how different uh, it foams how the intensity of the foam can be adjusted now to connect the mjjc foam lance you will have to first disconnect this unit this extension pipe here now it's connected now let me show you the difference guys check this out with the mjjc foam lens it creates a good amount of uh, snow foam and it lasts much longer and you can adjust the intensity of the foam as well plus we have more than a quarter bottle of uh, liquid remaining whereas the bosch uh, detergent container completely 
you know consume the solution that was inside so do invest in a good uh, foam lens and it'll make your pressure washing a whole lot fun here is another neat trick if you want to park the gun in the middle of uh, washing just do it here stores in that location perfectly fine you have to take it out just pull it out of that slot and uh, use it the next thing you got to do is wear a wash mitt slightly wet it and uh, try wiping the soots down and always start from top to bottom Now we'll change this and uh, wash down the car completely. Guys, there are three modes for this nozzle here. You can adjust the modes by turning the nozzle on the lens here, and it shows what are all the three modes. Now, this one indicates a straight line, which is the high pressure mode. It sweats out uh, water at really high pressure, and it is not advisable to direct that to the body of the car because it can strip out uh, paint. This one indicates an arrow in the form of a swirl. So this basically squirts out uh, a jet of water in a swirling fashion and this one in a high pressure mode but it's like spread out so this is also safe to be used in the car but never ever use this straight line because it can strip out paint especially on older cars you can use it on tires and all that where you know you need to strip out mud but never use it on painted panels so i'll show you this uh, swirling mode here good for a wipe down and uh, you know wetting pre-wetting the car this is that straight line mode which we can see here now this particular mode can be very very lethal at times i tell you what because it can strip out even the dirt from the patio particular mode is incredibly powerful never ever direct this to the painted panels of the car guys check this out how intense this particular mode is it can like literally shred the cardboard into pieces so careful when you are using this mode the pressure washer is good for your uh, cleaning patios as well just ensure that you do it in breaks because this unit gets heated up real bad you know sometimes uh, you'll also get a smell of the motor burning but uh, trust me it's like uh, good it doesn't uh, the coil doesn't get uh, burnt out so easily but ensure that you do it in brakes so you don't completely burn out the unit and cause a lot of noise but uh, once you're done just uh, turn off the unit and uh, disconnect all the piping connections and uh, clean the unit with a microfiber cloth to get rid of all the water 
and uh, secure it in a dry and uh, you know uh, a place which is devoid of any moisture etc guys just a quick tip when you want to disconnect this unit after you are done with all the washing and you have turned off the power it's not easy to you know remove it because there's a lot of pressure contained in this pipe what you need to do is see the thing is off i have disconnected the inlet pipe just whatever resident pressure is built up inside just uh, click the trigger that's all whatever pressure was contained within that pipe is now gone see that after you have completed your washing and uh, you wound up your uh, hose like this there's a designated slot for putting it in that's here and you have kept the lens here and the extension on this side we are not using the supplied uh, detergent uh, container so we have removed it the nozzle is kept here roll the power cable through these slots very very convenient so you don't have to use a rubber band or a velcro strap to keep the power cable together once you're done just pull these two red tabs in the unit down keep it secure clean all this uh, area wherever you are keeping it and ensure that it is kept in a dry place thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video if you have any queries or feedback do let me know i'd be more than glad to help you out as regards this aquatac 135 pressure washer she's been a very trusty companion for all my pressure washing that i've done at home and there has been no breakdown so far touch wood i hope it continues that way uh, do stay tuned uh, there's going to be more interesting videos in the channel as regards to my car diys uh, some home improvements and things like that a bit of cooking uh, so stay tuned thank you so much